I have a question for you guys. So coming in, like, uh, we, we touched on it a little bit earlier, but all the Web 2 people and celebrities and shit that came in and wrecked everything in Web 3 and mm-hmm. fucked everyone over. So my question is, is obviously there's going to be become a point when Web 3 is going to need that mainstream hype and attention from web two mm. so like how do you see that working because i'm a web two guy that's been in the space and i get shit on all the time even if people don't even know who i am yeah so like when do you think that transition is going to happen or what it's going to take i think i'm as just l- curious i think as long as ty lopez comes back and starts offering uh you know to like a netflix and chill sesh for five <laughs> eth and then like one-on-one basketball games for 10 eth i think like that's what we need more of to be honest right right um yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. Because it's like, like I feel like, I feel like everyone just has to kind of get used to like allowing people and like more open to like allowing like other people in. Like it feels weird. It feels like um, when I first got into like this space, uh, like all of, like the Web two people, like obviously like, they were always just like promoting like kind of like rug pulls and things like that. I remember like it was like. It was like uh, in Web three though the first time that celebrities came in it was like their project sold out like that yeah dude because everybody everyone believed in it like fully so you so you so wait so this is a really good conversation to have I was thinking about this last night right um there's been this sort of like the NFT space has grown so much since I got it, even like six months ago right uh, in Coinbase NFT what the flop of that coming out is sort of analogous to like this larger thing that has happened where we used to all like so many things got kind of pumped and overvalued under this assumption that like this thing is going to bring crazy mass adoption and apes are going to go to a thousand ETH and everything is going to be and it would literally be (laughs) and celebrities were one of those things it'd be like oh dude like uh, like uh, who, who like Floyd Mayweather is launching a collection. Like, oh my he has, dude. dude, he he, he has he did it twice. He has bro. a billion fans. They're all gonna come into NFTs and pump all of our bags, and then they come in and it's and and it's it's a huge net negative for the space. <laughs> uh, yeah, because because the fans come in and they just lose money, and, and so then like, they like never come in yeah, again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the, over. everybody that they bring in that is their first NFT that they buy, they're like, oh fuck, NFTs are gonna make me go broke. Like, damn, I saved up $600 to buy Mayweather's, <laughs> and now, I, like, I can't afford my rent. Fuck NFTs. I'm never doing this again. Yeah. Um, but, but like, dude, but but you have seen, I, I feel like there have been a number of celebrities that have actually done something. Well, autograph. Like, have you yeah, seen autograph? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some yeah. cool people involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a legit problem. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's like, there's, I'm still just personally, man, I am so skeptical of projects by, like, non web three natives and it doesn't and right. it doesn't take a long time to be a web three native but if like if even if you, i've been here for like six months dude but it's like uh or actually it's been like a year but if you are a celebrity like i feel like there's sort of this rite of passage of like you come in and you actually learn a little bit about this like you have a steve right mm-hmm. um and these celebrities that like actually are like really into the space and understanding and care about it and being a celebrity and getting nfts are not mutually exclusive but it's like they are just doing what any normal people would do that know nothing about NFTs, but the difference is they have an audience that will buy their shit. Right, right. And it's like one of a million. It, like to them, I think it's just the same thing as like, oh, we're we're gonna launch this merch drop, and how much money is this gonna make? They don't think about. Yeah, it. they don't think. They about talk to the, whoever manages it for them, and they're and they run the numbers on making an NFT. They're like, oh, that makes me way more money than dropping hoodies. Like, let's do that. Yeah. Right. But but the but you know what I mean? There's this like huge gap in understanding of what it like actually is to launch an NFT collection, which is starting a business. Like it's literally. It's starting like a, a company. It's like a tech startup. It is yeah. literally starting a company, and they, they are not starting companies, dude. So it's just like, but but there are rare occasions where I think uh, pe- they they have good intentions. So so, so I, it, like it, it almost comes down to like just the actual like Web two celebrity themselves and like what their intentions are. Because if like a lot of them come in and they're just like, oh, like easy money, then like you're gonna have like the repercussions of that, which is like you're gonna burn out your fans. They're not gonna join the space. But if you have someone who's like a Steve Aoki or something where they're just like, I'm interested in the space, I wanna like learn more. And then like once you like understand it, then you like drop something that actually like provides value or like, you know, complements the space. Yeah, he gets a lot of shit, but Steve and Snoop Dogg, I feel like, in my opinion, have done a, sh- a lot. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Onboarding people in the in like Paris the right Hilton. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paris too. Um, but but here's here's what, okay. But there are also some celebrities that just collect NFTs. They never launch one. But there's also sort of like a line to be drawn there of the ones that actually uh, like care about it. And then like okay, I, who's a good like Post Malone has an eight. Like, yeah, what yeah. are the odds that? he 
bought that or that he, his team, you know what I mean? Like his team called Moonpay and then like, he doesn't manage his Instagram that has it as a profile picture. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, like, right. and it's like, or like, do I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he does. Like, do, do we think, does Justin Bieber really give a fuck about NFTs or not? You know what I mean? Like there's yeah, some of them that did, just uh, sort of like, whatever happened to the in-betweener stuff? I, I think it did pretty well. Like, but that wasn't his project. Okay. That wasn't his project. Yeah. He though. just promoted the project. Right? Yeah. And then, and the other thing, uh, and I, and I won't, this is, it was a scary topic. The other thing is there's a lot of legality around these things. Yeah. Like sh undisclosed shills of crypto and NFTs. Not legal, bro. Yeah. Like, right, like, right, right. Like you saw what happened with Safe Moon and all these other projects. Like you so I Shout out to Safe Moon. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so <laughs> my first my first big L. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? But at the same time, it's like there's so many people that just don't know what is going on. And you, you know what I mean? There's it's so like this, much gray area at yeah. this point like even if you ask a lawyer there's no such thing as like an nft lawyer it's all yeah. new like, yeah these are all things that they're like using their best judgment and of course there's like good and bad nft lawyers for, for sure. sure but like everyone's still learning I, like, like even like, like accounting like like it's like the whole space is like we're, like it's like it's just like a ecosystem of like financial like benefits so it's like you would think that like you know accounting like would like know what they're doing but it's like even like like what you're gonna tell an accountant like hey like i just got this uh yeah i minted this and i, and I sold it for this and i got an airdrop of this and then like yeah I'm, i uh ten thousand x on this crypto punk i yeah. minted it back in february yeah oh. so it's like, like yeah like there's so many different like just like gray areas that are just like unknown in this space well it's like a yeah, I think I think a lot of it. I think where a lot of people get like burnt or kind of confused is like when it comes to like marketing. Because I get, like to what I said earlier about like undisclosed shills is like in, in any business it's legal to pay people to like market, right? But I'm saying if if or maybe it isn't. I don't even know. But if there's a celebrity that's collecting like thirty percent of mint and they're posting on their story like this is the best fucking project ever da, da, da. Right. and then the project just comes out in rugs like obviously that's like a, and they don't tell well, anybody that they have those a... disclosures right right but like even on tv commercials like exactly that's, that's what i'm saying that's yeah. what i'm saying so and that's why like whenever you like you that's why you know say like you're advising a project like you have to be clear somewhere that you have some sort of like relationship with the team right, you know right. I mean? but people just come to nfts even and if I, it's fine print yeah yeah you just write it down on a website somewhere <laughs> yeah. that exists but like do you know what i mean like and, and uh, but it's just like there's so much that people that's why people get wrecked man because there's just like no rules idea. <laughs> here l l yeah i think i think we're, we're all gonna create this business and we're just gonna provide disclaimers for celebrities yeah disclaimers yeah, yeah, like, like, for like, your shield e exactly <laughs> like, like like floyd mayweather would be our number one client um shout out to ethereum max i heard they're doing great um they're getting sued right yeah yeah wow yeah. that's cool but I, but i think it really like <laughs> sweet there's so awesome. many cases. I think it's like only really when that stuff happens like a large scale, like whenever it's people losing like millions of dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, they're um, not going to come after you for a couple thousand dollars. No, yeah. and it's cool, man. And I want everybody to make money. And it's like you can advise, advise, pro do whatever, like promote whatever, like sell whatever. Like it's it's a free market. You know what I mean? But it, it's just like there's just I think it all comes down to intention. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just like whether you see it as an industry to just suck money out of or you see it as like a way to sort right. of like, you know, like build so, like an, uh, a new sort of like really interesting sort of community in, in business. And I think now is probably the best time, though, because it's like I feel like if any celebrities joining now when like everything is already like getting pretty fucking close to zero. Right. It's like they have you to know at least, you and you, they have to kind of they, care about they're it. Enthusiasts, like they want to build. That's what yeah. I was saying the other day is like. I, I, I've been working and like thinking about doing a project forever, but for Web3, it's like an onboarding of Web2 people into Web3. A, it sucked because people usually hate that, and B, like the market was so hyped and saturated. Yeah. It was fucking nuts. Like the only people that could do a successful drop towards the end there were like creators and people that were in the space constantly. Mm. It just got absolutely insane. Yeah. Dude. I think that's a really good idea though like because like the something like when you're in like my position or i guess even like like k money's position he, we, we occupy a little bit like different niches um like one of the the things that i like lack to a degree is like the very front end of my of my funnel into sort of like my audience and in my ecosystem champs on the other things is like the people who know nothing about nfts right like that because that's a huge audience right yeah, that i'd love that i'd love to tap into but it's like i need assistance from somebody who has like that established web2 audience it's you like, know what i mean like how do you well a it's hard to get in and start a wallet and educate and mm -hmm. all that 
so that's one problem b is is the community the web3 community so far you know has hated the influencers celebrities web2 whatever for good reason obviously because there's been a shit ton of stuff go down that's negative but it's like an interesting thing where there's going to come a point i think right now especially is like when web3 is going to kind of need the mainstream press yeah it's going to need the attention and like the ratio of people that have bought an nft to those that haven't and then there's like so many people in the middle ground of like i wanted to do like to buy one but i either didn't know how or i was scared to I mean, once you tap that, then the Web3 audience, I mean, because the main thing here is the blockchain. Yep. You want everyone to adop, like, adopt the blockchain because it's the future, and I think it'll save currency and everything ha we're going, like, everything that's going on right now. Have you thought about, like, in detail how you would want to do that? Yeah, so <clears throat> kind of like what you've seen in the past is, is influencers uh, and people that have done it, like, for instance, Nelk did the Meta card. Mm -hmm. Great intentions, like, super successful drop. Uh, they did some really cool stuff, but it was like based around them. And then there's a there comes a point when you can't scale yourself. And a lot of the people mm -hmm. that bought now are upset. They're like, you said you were going to do this event. You were going to be there and you're going to do this. And you just like spread yourself too thin. Mm -hmm. yep. So the way that it happens is you find people that have worked with big web two brands. They understand they have the relationship. And instead of building it from I'm going to I'm going to give you guys like give back to you guys and give you my personal time. You go to the brands and you say, hey, like usually pay me 20 grand for a tweet or like whatever. Instead, give me $20,000 of product. I'll promote you and then I'll give those like coupon codes or whatever to the community. It's smart. So the relationship is creator to the brand, brand to the holders instead of creator to the holders. Yeah. I yeah. could get 20K a tweet. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, hey guys. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just I kidding. Tweet more.